Hello guys, welcome to my reading and review to the game Hogwarts Legacy. I just finished my first playthrough of the game. So I have uh, played the game for, uh, I think, around 66 hours. So I've done most of the stuff the game has to offer. Uh, finished the main quest and the story quest, some of the side quests. Most of the puzzle uh, activity in the game. So it's time to do a review. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, for, pe for people for people to know that Hogwarts Legacy is based on, uh, it, it is in the Harry Potter universe, but the story is uh, completely different, and the character you meet are different as well. I played uh, I played Hogwarts Legacy in uh, hard difficulty, which is the highest difficulty, and um, I think difficulty is hard difficulty is pretty pretty balanced. Um, it's not it's not really hard. Uh, it's not like it's not like a Souls like game that uh, once you uh got killed by the boss and you're gonna start over in this game if you uh, uh di if you um put a boss in uh a s in a different phase uh then if you die you're gonna start from that phase that you have got to so yeah that basically make it uh, not that difficult, but uh, anyway, for the gameplay. So playing as third person with uh, with magic casting spell uh, as as a uh, with a with a wand to fight in combat it's pretty interesting uh it's it's a pretty unique combat style i like that there are different uh, spell set that you can quickly change it to uh also a lot of the spell that you obtain throughout the game that has a huge impact uh, that that uh is uh will be used really useful for uh, doing puzzle and some spell are required to do to complete puzzle um of course if uh there are like the 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 the, the unforgiving spell are pretty sick um yeah it, it it looks crazy and uh works really smooth um yeah like each spell has some as its unique usage which is nice there's also a talent tree for changing how the spell works which also uh really interesting i want to i want to i want to mention the uh the a gameplay changer which is the long dash that you can obtain from the talent tree which can basically let you dash for a really long distance by holding down a key super cool uh it feels amazing to use that's uh one of my favorite um is is certainly a game changer for me uh, store ancient magic uh, casting which is like ultimate you can do to enemy can do a huge chunk of damage which looks pretty sick as well um, so uh, the gameplay works combat really works really well there are there's also parry system 
kind of like uh Kana, how Kana, uh, Bridge of Spirit, this game uh, um has for the parry system, pretty similar. It's like pulling pu uh, pulling out the shield, and then uh use that shield to parry, enemy attack. You can also uh, reflect the enemy projectile with that. Uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm doing a rating, a uh, review to the game. Just finish it. So, um, yeah, the success, successful parry with the shield is pretty, pretty satisfying to see. Um, yeah. So, talking about enemy, there, uh, I feel like, uh, a lot of the enemy, a lot of certain type of enemy that, uh, kind of feels the same, even though there are some variations to it. Um, I feel like, like in this game, there are like spider, trolls, and people, goblin. These are basically the. There's also those uh the, like a toad, a toad type of enemy. These are basically the enemy you fight throughout the game. Uh, overall. There might be a little bit of variation here and there, but these are pretty much the enemy. Uh, I feel like it. I, I'm 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 hoping the game has adding a bit more changes to each uh, enemy, because uh, or a certain type of enemy, it feels like the same to fight with. Yeah, in that in this case, it needs more variations. Um, but yeah, so those, these are the combat and the part of the game. It's also a puzzle and exploration. Uh, the game has a huge map from north to south. Uh, there, there's so many activities to do throughout in different region, especially like Hogwarts. Hogwarts itself is like a whole game. It's so complex. It's one. It's one of the most complex building uh in video in uh in all the game I have played this might be the most complex uh uh houses in the in the game if it's not the best it's cert is definitely one of the best uh one of the most complex. Uh, structure and layout uh, in the game so uh, that's really nice to see uh, there's a lot of puzzle and uh, an activity to do interaction to see there are treasure vault which is like a small dungeon but um, I don't like the fact that uh, most of the like, most of the treasure vault are, are like a replica, are, are are like a duplicate. Uh, it works the same and uh, and looks the same for a lot of it. And there, and there's also Merlin trial, which is uh, like another puzzle, mini game to do. Um, but uh, like I would say, most of the puzzle in the game are pretty, pretty simple, and straightforward. Uh, most often is is the type of puzzle that you need to uh look for uh things and then bring it over. In the game, you have a revalue, which is a spell that can review point uh object that I interactable object around you 
which is uh uh is really useful for doing puzzle but it also make the puzzle so much easier to do so uh there are some puzzles that are really creative and interesting uh but most of them are pretty plain uh and uh it feels repetitive so yeah and then, but uh, also hogwarts itself contains many type of puzzle that are different compared to the uh, outside world uh, I want to say that there are so many Merlin trial in the game that always have to the I I don't like that I had to keep seeing the casting at the start and the be and the end of the Merlin trial were also the uh, lock picking in the game so yeah this just probably like over 100 Merlin trial for example like and have to keep seeing that casting over and over again, which is really tedious. I I hate that. Um, also the same for lock picking. Lock picking is like even more. There's even more lock picking to do in the game. Uh, during the Merlin trial, this. Pretty much every house as you go need need to log pick, which is there's also that uh any casting that to wait it out was, and the the action of doing the log picking is not that interesting. Overall, it's just such a tedious action. I I really don't like it. I saw the game, I had to keep doing that over and over again. It just feels really... Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm wasting my time at this part. So, uh, yeah. That's the current state of the game. Um, I think I'm covering, uh, I'm, I cover everything I want to say for the gameplay part. Um, I'll say overall, I'll give it a die. Just despite the downfall. Um, I like that there are a lot of mini game in the game. There are so many mini game, like, just like Yakuza. Has a lot of mini games, which is great to see. Visual, visually, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's it's good. There's a lot of dungeon. Uh, like in each dungeon, there are uh s s some uh, different look to it. Pretty nice to see. Uh, so yeah, I want to add to the gameplay part as well. Like. The, the amount of dungeon the game has is pretty impressive. Uh, and dungeon is really... Uh, feels, feels nice to explore. Um, there's also... Um, the game also has a seasonal changing mechanics. Uh, Pretty interesting, like you get to go through spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And it actually changes how the environment look. That's really nice to see. Uh, so the, the, the visual... Yeah, I would say the, the visual is really, is really good. I'm gonna give it like a nine point three. So of course, like Hogwarts is Hogwarts. The building itself is a huge expat to the game, and visually speaking, is 
really amazing. Animation, um, I like the combat animation. Uh, where, it, yeah, it's, it looks pretty sick and unique. Um, uh, well, yeah, uh, the animation is, is good, just like the visual. The, the animation in the game is, has a, has a lot because there are, there's also expat of, uh, of, uh, Uh, creating your room on requirement um, like you can you can add furniture and uh, create uh, some machine and you can also capture beast each beast has to, its own animation uh, so the variety of animations is very impressive uh, and they all work really well just like the visual so yeah like, speaking of that like the speaking of the the creative expat and the uh beast feeding expat or <clears throat> Uh, a growing beast aspect it, it works nicely it does what um what you want to do uh yeah it's good and um, yeah So, I want to uh, want to add another thing to your gameplay. So there are uh, there are also inventory weight system in the game. You need to worry about inventory space. And the the stuff you the stuff I got. Uh, saw the game from the chest and pretty much all the uh, office, and the office. That I don't need. That can be uh, it can be used can be sold, um, but it doesn't it doesn't get a lot of, it doesn't get much money from it. And often time, I if I feel like is uh, especially uh, when reaching mid game. At that point, I pretty much op already obtained most of the gear and outfit in the game. And after that point, the gear I I found from uh, from the chest are pretty much just a duplicate or uh, a lower or higher version of the gear I had. Uh, which like off over time, it feels uh, actually getting uh, repetitive, and yeah, it's not rewarding anymore. So yeah, there's that's uh, that's that. I'll do uh, just like what you hope for uh uh for a game that's set in the harry potter universe the soundtrack are similar to what we hear in harry potter movie um i would say it's it's uh it's good it's good But uh, it's not as memorable as I hoped for. Of course, there are few there are few soundtracks that are 
uh, nice to hear. And uh, and kind of memorable, but I feel that most of the soundtrack are. Mm, yeah, uh, not so noticeable, I would say. Because I feel like most of the narcs end in some. So I guess I'll do. Uh, I'll do. I'm gonna say it's a nine. It's eight point. Uh, eight point five. Eight point five. The story. Uh, the story. So. The story is okay. The uh, I feel like the how the story of the game is is uh, predictable and uh, kind of generic. It it doesn't have. Many turn uh, twists and turns. So um, yeah, like also the the there are three three story quest for um for the companion uh, that uh, you are meet throughout the game. Kind of weird to me that there are four houses, but one house, but uh, one house doesn't have doesn't really have a, a story quest line. There are yeah, it's I'd say this. There are four companion, but only uh, there's only three of them are have have their own uh, story quest line. I think the story quest line uh. Is is might be even might be uh yeah sorry sorry quest is uh as as good as the main quest I'll say that um the uh, yeah just 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 overall is is something that uh just more something that I can expect. From the story, not as intriguing as I would hope for, and the, the voice acting uh, is uh, okay as well, and as as well as the dialogue and stuff like that. So I, I think this, this overall is just a, it's an okay story. Okay, too. Good story. Um, uh, so, uh, eight point five. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I sh I'm to, I'm gonna lower that. Because the max score is ten, and uh, I have to think about this a bit more. Yeah. Um, so the UI in the game really, really good. Uh, I like how the map looks like. It has a really nice style to it. And the, the the menu there's there's quite a, quite a lot of menu in the game, which uh, has really like a, a really good design to it. 
yeah i really like how that how it works ui might be yeah the ui might is it's really really nice i like it a lot so 9.5 the developer have done a great job to to make the ui looks like it's coming from harry potter universe i mean overall not only ui it's uh, it really fits to the universe like i that itself is they have done a really good job so overall um i'll give it this game uh 8.3 something like that um for me, for me it's an 8. Okay. Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to put it at in the good tier. Yep. All right. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the uh, uh, review and rating to the game. And uh, you can always check my first place through the game. Yeah, uh, under the channel. So hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time.